when it comes to the password managers, people sometimes have a trust issue with them and they don't fully trust them. And one of the ways I found to get over that is what I'm calling uh, salting your passwords. And basically what it means is when you uh, change a password for a, like, uh, a web account, you have the password manager generate something random, then you let that fill in. But before you submit to save the password, you enter a salt. And a salt can be a word, a number, a phrase. It could be literally anything. It could be a single number all the way up to a sentence. Um, but you, when you go to save that password in your password manager, you leave out the salt. So if someone somehow miraculously gets into your password manager, they still wouldn't know what the actual password is because it's missing the salt because you're not saving the salt inside of the password manager and it's only a secret that you know. So that helps ease the pain and the fear of password managers and I want to demonstrate to you and show you how you can do it. So I'm using Big Lots as an example website and I'm going to change my password to something that is a salt. So what we do first as we go to view and particular for Bitwarden, this is how I do it. Uh, I'm going to edit, then I'm going to generate a new one. I'm going to overwrite the old one. And I'm going to use a password, and that will be fine for me. It's, it's been randomly generated by the password manager. I'm going to like, uh, hit select, then I'm going to save. So now I have the new password. I'm going to input it both times but here's a trick is I'm going to add a salt my salt is going to be the word bacon all lowercase I'm just going to add it to the end of it and I'm going to get my current or the old password I'm going to copy that and I'm going to save and then I've saved the changes and I'm going to sign out so what we have here is if I look at the password manager and I look at the actual password that's not the full password it's missing the salt and the salt goes at the end so if I try to log in they'll say invalid password. And to log in with the correct password, of course I have it autofill, but I don't press sign in just yet. I just add my salt. My salt is bacon. It's the only thing I know. And it's not stored anywhere else. And I hit sign in. And there you go, I logged in. And sometimes Bitwarden will ask if we want to uh, update the password. For this particular password, I'm not going to update it because I do it to salt for security reasons. And I would not salt every password. I would only salt the most important passwords. If you salt every password, you're just gonna make your life harder than it needs to be. Uh, but this is one of the ways you can get over the fear of using a password manager because you're not actually storing the real password. You're leaving it out. So if someone stumbled upon your password manager, they wouldn't have the full password because they don't know your salt. And what sometimes I like to do is I like to, in the notes section, I like to put the word salt to remind myself that I did salt the password. Sometimes I even do it in the name section to also remind me. If you do it in the name section, you can clearly see it's been, uh, when you're hit the autofill button to remind yourself, hey, this is salted, so I gotta add my little bit of extra password to the end of the password when I'm trying to log in. And like I said, don't do it for every password, just do it for the most important passwords. That's email, that's your, you can do it for your banking, or anything that really deals with money, something that you would flip out be, and be very upset if you lost that account. Maybe some people might be social media, what, what have you. But this is a clever way to get rid of the fear of password managers and and keeping all your eggs in one basket and one password to rule them all because you're not completely giving everything away. You're still holding some of the cards. So, hope you enjoyed.